Ideogram has just released their latest AI model, Ideogram 2.0, and they've improved upon their already amazing AI software. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my five favorite features from Ideogram 2.0. Before I get into the five specific features, I wanna take you over to the landing page from Ideogram that talks about 2.0. The biggest improvements that they've made to the system are in the realism and the text rendering uh, with Ideogram, which was already pretty amazing, but they have improved it significantly with this latest release. One thing I wanna point out here on the landing page is this section right here because this is what's most important to my audience. They've released a new style when you're creating AI art uh, that's just called design. But I wanna read you what it says here. The design style of Ideogram 2.0 significantly boosts the accuracy of text in the generated images. This enables you to create premium graphic designs for greeting cards, print on demand, posters, illustration, and marketing and social media content with long stylized text. This advancement will substantially improve the efficiency of the workflows of graphic designers and businesses. Okay, that was long, but the big thing I wanted to point out there was that they specifically mentioned print on demand, and that is huge for a lot of people that follow me because I have a program and I teach uh, people how to start and grow print on demand businesses. And so a lot of my audience, if you're watching out there, you may be a print on demand seller. And so this is huge. We're starting to see that more and more AI software companies are paying attention to the print on demand world and they are making features and specifically tailoring their software to us as print on demand sellers and this is huge for us. Feature number one is the brand new Ideogram iOS app and you can download this right on your iPhone and so you see it on my phone here and so along the top we have the explore tab, we have my images where you can see images in your account, the same ones that would show on your computer. Then we have a little filter button that will show us different ranges there of the top photos in the community. Then below that, we have a brand new feature, which I'll also show you on the web version, but we have where we can filter the images from Ideo the Ideogram community by style. So we can click on all, or we can click on realistic, uh, and we can see just realistic photos. We can click on design. We're gonna see more graphic design, text-based, uh, maybe print on demand or t-shirt designs here in the design section. Then we'll also see 3D and anime over there. Along the bottom, we have home. Then we have another My Images button that will show your gallery. But right in the middle, we have a plus sign. If we click on that plus sign, it's going to let us generate images right on our phone. This is gonna be one of the top features of having the phone app. And what's cool here is all of the same features that you have on your computer are going to be on your phone here. So you're gonna see uh, some different things along the top. Then right here in the middle, you're going to see these newly added style buttons, which I'll show you more on the computer, but that is a really cool feature to see. And then below that, again, we see all of the different options that we would see on the computer for uh, adjusting our AI art. And we can just type in the prompt that we want, hit the generate button, and we're ready to roll. Feature number two of Ideogram 2.0 is enhanced do you wanna learn the best prompts to use in your AI image generation software to get the most realistic designs and mockups and just generate the best AI art? If so, I wanna invite you to go get my free AI prompt guide, which includes 171 different words you can use in your prompts by just going over to carryegler.com slash prompts. Again, this is a completely free download. You just go and put in your email and then you can download that prompt guide. Go get it at carryegler.com slash prompts. Back to the video. Feature number two of Ideogram 2.0 is enhanced realism. We've seen recently that there are new AI softwares coming out that have very, very realistic photos. And even the release of like Midjourney's newest 6.1 release. And then now with Ideogram, we see that uh, images are becoming more and more realistic. Now inside Ideogram, we can actually just click on the realistic button and it's gonna show us some of the most realistic photos created with Ideogram. Now, in addition to this, as I mentioned, and we're gonna talk about more, when you go to create an image, you now have the realistic setting so that you can generate more realistic images. But I just wanna showcase 
in the community how real uh, some of their photos are, how realistic looking their photos are. If we go through here and look at some of these, I mean, this image caught my eye earlier. It just looks so real. There's no way I could tell that that was an AI generated image. Just the detail when you start looking at the hair and now even down to even the skin looking a little bit less smooth than it's looked before. Another thing that I noticed throughout a number of images, we're just looking at details like fingers, right? When we click on images like this and we look at the hands and the fingers, they look more natural. There's not extra fingers. And oftentimes they're not in odd poses as you may have seen uh, with some other uh, AI software. So we can look through here and continue to go and we just see some incredible, incredible images that look just absolutely completely real, right? Feature number three is the style controls within Ideogram 2.0. This is one of my favorite new features. If we click on the describe what you want to see area here in Ideogram, along the bottom, we're now gonna have these styles, including auto, general, realistic, design, 3D, and anime right here along the bottom. Now, for my audience, most of you are going to want to use the design button almost exclusively, because as I mentioned in the beginning, Ideogram specifically states that the design button is best for graphic designers, posters, print-on-demand products, apparel products. They've tailored it to uh, designs that are specifically for people like us. And so I wanna demonstrate that just very quickly right now. I wanna show you uh, just one quick prompt. So we're gonna just paste in this prompt and it says a print on demand design for a fitness brand that says grind never stops. The design includes a fist holding weights. It has a grungy and hardcore style. So we're gonna leave all of our settings just stock basically. We're gonna hit the generate button and see what happens with that new design style. Here are the results. Here's number one, number two, number three, and number four. So you can see it's very, very good, but some of the things that stand out are the flat background and how this almost looks like a vector style image. It's obviously not a vector. You could probably turn it into a vector, but you can see how it's a flat background. It is a, maybe a little more basic because we're using that design style. And in my opinion, this is absolutely perfect for print on demand and apparel designs. It did a phenomenal job. These are really, really good designs. I love how simple they are. I love that it's got a flat background and I love the composition. I just think it's really good. And you can see how three out of the four uh, did really well with the text. And that leads me into my next uh, feature. Feature number four is maybe the best feature and it is improved text rendering. Ideogram knows that one of the things they excel at is their text rendering. So when you ask it to create a design with text, Ideogram has always been the most accurate AI software for generating text, but it's getting pretty crazy with Ideogram 2.0 and how accurate it can be in generating text. So I'm gonna give it this prompt, a t-shirt design that shows the following text. So be strong and courageous, do not be afraid. That's Bible verse Deuteronomy 31.6. So not a super long text uh, prompt, not, a, not asking it for a lot of text, but I would say this is a fairly long text sentence to put on like a t-shirt. Generally, you might only have maybe three or five words. So let's go ahead and see what it does. We've got our design style selected. Let's go ahead and hit generate and see how it does. Here's the result from our prompt. You can see here, uh, there's four different styles. It gave us very four very different styles, and these are almost absolutely perfect. In fact, I can't find any portion of the text where it made any mistakes. I, I think it came out perfect. I specifically like this one because I love the simple designs that are easy to really convert to like t-shirts and print on demand. But all of these are very usable and they're really, really good. And, and there's a variety, right? We've got some that have a cross. We've got one with a mountain. We've got one with a lion. These are really, really good designs and you can see how accurate the text is. But let's put it to an even harder te uh, test. And I really wanna do this one, not to necessarily show you how accurate the text is, but really how advanced this AI model is. This time we've pasted in a prompt that's pretty complex. It says, a man sitting in a coffee shop reading a book. The man looks sad and tired from a long, hard day. On the wall behind him is a sign that shows the following text. And this time I've included the entire Bible verse. 
So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Deuteronomy 31.6. This time, we're just going to go with the auto style because we actually just want to create a regular image. But we are still going to use 2.0. We're going to leave everything stock. We're going to hit generate. So here's what we got. And the point of this was not necessarily to have super accurate text. I was pretty confident that that was going to be too long to get it exactly accurate. But I want to show you really just how far this AI software has come. So here are the four uh, generations that we got. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. And here is the fourth one. Now, previously with pretty much any prior versions of any of the AI softwares out there, you would just get a lot of gibberish when you put in something like this and it would not be able to comprehend the details of the image. So let's break it down just a little bit. We said a man sitting in a coffee shop. We can clearly see that these look like a coffee shop. The man looks sad and tired from a long, hard day. You can see he's looking kind of frustrated. He's looking pretty sad, down, tired, right? And I, I, lo I love the composition details of that we said the, the, there's a sign on the wall behind him that shows the following text. And in most of these, it actually got a lot of the text pretty much correct. This one was probably my favorite with just a little bit of issues. If you actually read through it, you can pause the video. You know, you'll see that there are some few minor issues, but it got pretty close. Now, if you were to do a design uh, with this long Bible verse on it and excluded some of the other details like the man in the coffee shop and the composition of the photo with the, the sign being on the wall behind him, you would get more accurate text rendering with Ideogram, but I thought this was pretty impressive. Feature number five is color palettes. This is also a really cool feature and very useful. So if we open up again our uh, image creation here, I'm gonna select the design style and I've got my prompt put in here. It says a print on demand design for a fitness brand that says grind never stops. This design includes a fist holding weights. It has a grungy and hardcore style. Same prompt we used earlier, but as, as you saw earlier, that was mostly white and black. It just kind of gave us a basic style. So what we can now do is right, right down here, we have a color palette section. If we actually, we can leave it on auto or we can click here and we can select a preset uh, color palette or we can actually create our own. We can do custom down here if you have the appropriate plan to do that. So if I just click on this blue color palette, which is the ultramarine, and now I submit my prompt, we'll see what it gives us. Here are our four generations. Number two, let's try again. Here are our four generations. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And you can see that Ideogram used that color palette with the navies and the royal blues, that kind of selection of blue colors to create our new design. And all these features bring up another question. How good is AI at creating realistic product mockups for t-shirt and print on demand businesses? Click here to watch a tutorial of my favorite AI software for creating realistic t-shirt apparel and print on demand mockups.